2009. Um, this is the road right on, along the north coast from the town of Soyer to the town of Deia. And it's a beautiful, beautiful road. High up on the coastal mountain range. Essentially you're just protected by a little wall here, but it's pretty Uh, Deia is supposed to be a beautiful scenic village, the chosen hometown of English poet and writer Robert Graves, who lived here for 56 years. It's Thursday. This is right here. Very nice. The landscape here on the north side of Mallorca is, is simply stunning. It's it can't be described any other way. Steep coastal mountains, olive groves, pine trees, lots of rock, um, crags and, and, uh, and promontories that stick out into the Mediterranean Sea here. It's um, the most scenic area of Mallorca. The central part of Mallorca is rather flat, still used for agriculture. And there is also a second mountain range to the south, on the south coast. Uh, but it's not quite as high as this mountain range here. The mountains on the south only reach about 600 meters in height. Whereas this uh, mountain range here goes up all the way to 1445 meters at the Puig Mayor, which is the highest peak of the island of Mallorca which at the moment has a radar station on it, a military radar station, so you can't really go up there. Uh, but I think the Puig Masanella is the second highest mountain, 1385 meters, something in that uh, neighborhood. And that's a mountain that you can actually hike up on. Now hiking, climbing, look at this beautiful estate here. Hiking, climbing, mountain biking are all very, very popular activities in Mallorca. It's, um, and of course, uh, water sports as well, being an island, uh, definitely water sports. Um, this area in particular is known for its beautiful country hotels, agroturismo. Lots of former fincas and farms have been uh, turned into historic country hotels. And uh, this is very, very different from the area where we're sto staying overnight. We're staying overnight on the west side of Palma Bay in the town of Palma Nova. Uh, and that area, the entire Bay of Palma actually, surrounding the capital of Mallorca, is surrounded by uh, concrete towers, high-rise towers for hotels. That's the typical mass tourism of the 1960s and 70s that just exploded on the island of Mallorca. Even today, there's still about 10 to 12 million tourists a year that come on this island. But quite a number of them are now involved in ecotourism and agrotourism, and they're exploring the interior of this beautiful island. The area where we are, Palma Nova, close to uh, Magaluf and, and that area, is mostly uh, chosen by British tourists and when you go through there all the restaurants, the bars, the stores, everything is in English, British English, lots of pubs, lots of British breakfasts and on the other side close to the airport the eastern Bay of Palma is mostly chosen by German tourists apparently so everybody has got their own little spot. My favorite area is the north area up here in the mountains this is definitely the most uh, beautiful area on, on the islands. Mountains and ocean is always a wonderful uh, combination. And you can see here is one of, uh, one of many, many cyclists uh, who cycle all over the island of Mallorca. Mallorca, as a matter of fact, is uh, one of the training grounds for professional road cyclists, uh, racers, that are able to train here the whole year round because the climate is uh, very 
mild. In the winter, in some areas, it goes down to 5, five to 10 degrees plus Celsius. So that's a pretty, pretty pleasant temperature. And in the summer, of course, right now it's late May. We're probably at 25, 27 degrees at the most, and there is no, not too much humidity, so it's very pleasant. But in the summer, it definitely gets very, very warm, very dry. And I would not recommend traveling to Mallorca in the summer because it is overrun by tourists. It's way too hot and uh, it's just not, not the greatest time to go because everything is expensive and everything is crowded. So this is a perfect time to travel, April, May, June, early June. And I think also after main season, September, October, must be beautiful times here on this island here in Mallorca. And what we're seeing here is a mountain village up on the right hand side. And we are in the village of Deia, as you can see. We've reached the village. So what we'll do is we'll go into the center of the village or somewhere at least where we can park the car. And we will start to have a look around. streets as always. Most of these houses are made of stone. Made literally stone by stone. All these walls that you can see on the side here that are surrounding the olive groves and the orange groves were made by hand and that is an art that was um, that was uh, passed on from generation to generation from uh, during Arab times already. The Arabs um, inhabited this island from about 900 AD to 1200 when in 1229 King Jaime of Spain reconquered Mallorca for the Spanish crown. Um, Spain in general, particularly the south of Spain and the islands, uh, was uh, dominated by the Arabs or Moors also uh, as they're called. Um, mainland Spain from about 711 to 1492 here, the uh, Moorish reign was shorter, just about 300 years. But they left a big heritage because all the agriculture around here, including the olive groves, the orange groves, the terraced agriculture that goes up along the mountain ranges, and even viticulture, uh, wine. Uh, oh my god, look at this beautiful view here. I love these terraced mountain villages that just go up along the, uh, along the mountain here. So this is Deia. What we'll do is we'll probably stop here somewhere and have a look at the village and I'll come back to you in just a little bit.